great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Did you hear the minister? Yeah, she's it's so infuriating. I'd love to know what her skills that the, the part about her being a skills minister, skills in what? Uh, fear mongering. I mean, look, how can you justify that? I mean, how can why do they keep putting nightclubs into one box? What do you, what does she class as a nightclub? There's so many positive ways of doing this. You know, they opened the pubs without, you know, the first thing they opened. And then the, the other week I had an argument with one of the health ministers on another programme regarding the fact that she said alcohol and social distancing don't go. So why did you open the pubs in the first place? You know, it's about positivity. It's about sitting down and working a way forward. You know, it's, you're talking about an industry that makes 70 billion for the economy every year. I know. And I put all of those points to her. Um, she also went on to say that uh, the reason, one of the reasons that we can't have, that they've, they've made it illegal to have singing and dancing is that dancing is very unpredictable. Look, you know, at the end of the day, we're living in a world where you can't sing and can't dance. I mean, that, that in itself is just crazy. You know, it's human nature to want to sing and want to dance. The last two months alone, there's been more death from suicide than there has from COVID. You know, that, has, that comes at a cost. Telling people they can't sing and they can't dance comes at a cost. If you're wearing a mask, like we're all meant to be doing in, within that environment, why can't you sing? If masks work to the extent that they're meant to, why can't you sing? If you were to open nightclubs where people were fully clothed and wearing masks on dance floors, where there was no sweat, there was no thing, and it was air conditioned, done properly. It's all about positivity and doing it properly. What, what is the problem? She did go on to say that um, the hospitality industry had done very well when it came to COVID restrictions, but still, until there was a long-term solution, in her words, nightclubs, uh, that overall, that umbrella that is uh, the word, nightclubs, will not be open. We're looking at the spring of next year. What does that mean for your industry? Oh, our industry has been on its knees for the last six months. You know, the new rules that, that Richie brought in this week about topping up people's wages. These people won't get wages because their premises are shut. They no longer can be on furlough. You know, a million people are going to lose their jobs. A million people. It, this isn't, you know, there was outcry when BA threatened to lose 12,000 jobs. We're talking about a million people losing their jobs and their, and their industry. My job, my career is not dispensable. It's not something you can throw away. I've worked a lifetime to, be, to get to the point in my career where I am. You know, it's not disposable. You know, like, like any other one, like an MP or a barrister, we train to do what we do. It's not something that we do overnight. You know, it's an art. We, I, I work in the arts and, you know, just to say that's disposable and we'll leave that on ice, you know, and, and, and let a million people lose their job is despicable. You know, we're not saying let's open nightclubs so, every, so the, the spike will go up. You know, last, in the last two weeks, 3.2% was responsible for uh, the increase, you know, from, the, from our sector. And, you know, 25% come from care homes and the rest came from offices and factories. Why are they not shutting the offices and making people work at home when they're the main cause? Yeah, I did, no, put, that, I did when, put that to her as well. Um, Tony, I, she, one of the reasons that the government will turn to if we, when we have this conversation is we saw the pictures in uh, Oxford Circus at the weekend where so yeah. many people were gathering. You know, they were all thrown out at the same time, gathering, having a party. It's their fault. You know what? I was in Oxford Circus. I was in Shaftesbury Avenue on, on, on Friday night and both Saturday night after work. And... You know, firstly, they, they closed the tube station entrances at Oxford Circus because there was too many people, right? So what are those people meant to do? You're telling them they can't sing and they can't dance inside. They're going to do it outside. It's human nature. Secondly, you know, I tried to get an Uber home from Shaftesbury Avenue to Pimlico, which is a mile and a half maximum. They wanted 30 to 35 pounds on a surge. These are the things that should be looked at, not these videos of people dancing in Oxford Street. You know... They can't get on the tube, they can't get home. What are they meant to do? I'm not sticking up to them. We have idiots within all, all parts of our society. Of course, people are going to take the law into their own hands because it's got to that stage where they no longer believe in this, believe in this government or believe in our police force because they've been told you can't do this. And when you tell someone you can't do this, they want to do it even more. It's like 
you're not leaving the table till you eat your greens scenario. <laughs> you have got a plan, I believe, to try to relaunch um, the uh, nightlife uh, with music. Tell me well, about it. Well, we've already started very successfully a project called Socially Discoing, uh, Social Discoing. And, and what we do at Social Discoing is when you enter the club, you are temperature tested, you're tracked and traced straight away onto a computer. The whole thing is, thing. you have to sanitise on each level you go up. You stay within the bubble of six, your bubble, on your table. If you leave your table to go to the bathroom at any point or whatever you want to do, you have to wear your mask. Smoking areas are completely contained to your bubble only. So if there's any people from your table, you go at a certain time to smoke. And that's the way it should be. And, you know, it, it works and people are enjoying it. It's like dinner and chair dancing. People are dancing in their chairs. But you know, it's suddenly, they can no longer dance, they can no longer sing. People will still want to go out and enjoy themselves. I think that if, you, if people want it bad enough and they want to go, they will be responsible. They will be responsible, which we've proven it within our, with, our, with our new club night, that it, 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 that it works. And I just think it's about taking that responsibility and being positive about it, you know, but it's it's really hard to be positive when every day the new, more and more sanctions come out aimed at our, our, our sector. You know, why are they not talking about the offices? Why are they not talking about the care homes? Why do they keep blaming it on bars and, bars and pubs? You know, a month ago it was eat out to help out. Our nation went out to help out on a Monday, Tuesday and a Wednesday when those people would normally be at home with their families, but yet now they're out on the street, out on the street, queuing up to get into restaurants, sitting next to each other in Old Compton Street or wherever they were, on mass. That's why we are spiking. This is why we're spiking. Eat out to help out, but the government won't take responsibility for that. Oh no, it's us. It's the nightclub sector. It's the bars. It's the pubs. It's the restaurants, and it's not. Okay. It's not at all. You know, three point two percent is not a lot. Yeah, so Eat Out to Help Out was in August. Uh, in your opinion, just before we let you go, when can we go out out again? I think, you know, uh, as soon as the government lifts this six off six and stuff like that, I think that it, it, it's, a, it's a really, really difficult time for everyone. And I think the more creative we are and the more productive we are and the more positive we are about the, the world we're living in right now, the better it will be for everyone. And I think that everybody just needs to be a little bit more creative and come up with some new ways of enjoyment. OK, in the meantime, I'm really enjoying your sets on Instagram. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Kay. Thank you so much for having me. Look after yourself, darling. Thanks a lot. Thank you. God bless. Oh, don't you miss going out? I know I do. Um,